it's just the way everything came together. And, you know, through this ceremony of um, two communities coming together, uh, recognizing our willingness to to work together and to share and to help each other. You know, um, it's really, truly symbolic. It, it, it's something that um, it's something that marks a relationship, a milestone in the history of our community and um, our surrounding community. So I'm just so honored to, to be part of this event. What do you hope will come from this? What, what I anticipate uh, what would come from this is um, that, that we have uh, established a relationship, uh, a framework for uh, collaboration of where there are common values and principles that are shared between us and our commitment to a joint process to communicate, to share information, to uh, nurture and to develop a relationship uh, that exists between both of our communities. So um, it, it not only speaks to the nature of the relationship, but also on specific initiatives that we uh, intend to work on involving uh, economic development, environmental stewardship, uh, tourism, and other things uh, into the future. You were, um, you were somewhat emotional during moments uh, today. What was going through your mind when, when, when those emotions were uh, coming kind of to the surface? Well, it, it's, I, I've been uh, part of uh, various public um, gatherings and ceremonies, but what really got me uh, was the pipe ceremony. You know, it got me to think about um, when that pipe you know, is shared, you know, amongst dignitaries, people who are part of this occasion. It, it marks, you know, the sacredness of this ceremony. You know, it wasn't, you know, when I looked at the sun coming out, you know, when I looked at the eagles flying over, it sort of marked, you know, in my mind that this event was truly special that the Creator and our ancestors are here with us uh, marking this historic event, so that's a bit of the motion there. Can I just talk more about, we just have one, we just need to ask you about the work that historically you spread out through the ceremony and again. Sure. I mean, um, this place of Walneg is a perfect setting for it. Um, there's a lot of history here in terms of the relationship um, the community has initially through the church, the, the Catholic Church, and then later on through um, away, um, the treaty relationship. And it was an appropriate place to have this. This is where we sort of uh, our loved ones are come to their resting place. Um, there is a celebration and events we have here. So it, it's it's one of those things that is a, a continuing sort of um, relationship that had existed historically even since the baptism of the Grand Chief uh, Member Two in 1610 and later through the treaty relationship within the 1700s. So it, the ceremony is representative of that continuous evolving relationship and even though, you know, at times throughout history we sort of forgot that and as Europeans arrived, you know, there was a certain protocol, there was a certain relationship that emerged where with the Mi'kmaq that we would take care of people and help people in times of need and I, I find that's a bit of a recognition of that through this event as well. The significance of the, the signing today, you know, a lot of references to historic, but this is a truly special relationship that's been forged there now. It, it is a special relationship, and going forward, this here really sort of cements the relationship. We both recognize our communities and, and how we want to grow forward, and we look so forward to continue the good relationship that's been built, and uh, we look forward to lots of the possibilities in the future.
negotiations for this, it, it, it took quite a while to get to this point, didn't it? Uh, well, we started the process through SETI in 2016, November of 2016, so sort of, you know, putting all the pieces together and, and finding the right mix of what a friendship accord should look like. It took some time, but we wanted to make sure we didn't rush it, and we wanted to make sure it, it represented the two communities and how we sort of embody each other's spirit and recognizing and respecting uh, the culture. And it took time for us to bring all that together, and today's celebration is fantastic. Tell us about the uh, highway interchange aspect. Is, is it a factor? Talk a little bit about that as far as today. Well, no, you know, really they sort of ran simultaneously. The highway interchange project was, was something that the First Nations community were working on. The Friendship Accord and, and the city uh, partnership was something that Rose Paul initially put an application to the FCM and then when the county's approach, we just saw it was a natural thing to do. And, uh, so the two are sort of independent of each other, but now the collaboration and the benefits of working together from both communities uh, we're seeing an example of that starting to play. Warden, what's next? So we look right now, uh, we, we've uh, both submitted a, an app, a joint application to the Smart Cities Challenge and the first round of that application, if we are successful, would mean a $250,000 uh, pot of money that we can develop a bigger project. Uh, so it might be a bit of a long shot. We feel it's uh, we have the right mix, we have the right community chemistry, and uh, so we put that forward, and that was submitted a, a week ago, and so we're waiting to see if we happen to make the short list on that. Excellent. You mentioned that this started in uh, late 2016, and you also referenced your predecessor, Russell Bushy. Talk to us a little bit about his involvement in this relationship building. So when the SETI uh, project was first announced and it was brought to Russell as the warden, he was absolutely super enthusiastic about building this relationship. He felt the need to do it, felt it has been far too long that we haven't had a, a, a formalized relationship. So we were so happy when Rose Paul had actually made the initial application. And Russell saw the benefit of that and, uh, and brought it to our council and uh, we endorsed it immediately. And uh, he was a true champion of it. And the first two workshops that Russell was involved in he was just he was completely in his element uh, talking and, and enjoying the, the conversations between our two communities uh, guided by the FCM group and uh, so he's a true champion of it from the beginning and we're proud to continue that in, in honor of Russell because I mean his connection to Buck and Keck, you know was back many years and always had a great friendship so we feel very honored to keep that, uh, that uh, relationship going forward. Thank you. Thank you very much, folks. Great.